How do you feel about money? Most people would say they love money, but if they don't have enough, they don't feel good about it at all. If a person has all the money they need, then most certainly they feel good about money. So you can tell how you feel about money because if you don't have all you need, then you don't feel good about money. If you look out into the world, you will see that the majority of people don't feel good about money because the majority of the world's money and riches is in the hands of about 1% of the people. The only difference between the wealthy people and everyone else is that the wealthy people give more good feelings about money than they do bad feelings. It's as simple as that. Why is it that so many people feel bad about money? It's not because you have never had money, because most of the people who have money began with nothing. The reason why so many people feel bad about money is that they have negative beliefs about money, and those negative beliefs were fed into their subconscious minds when they were children. Beliefs like, we can't afford that. Money is evil. Rich people must be dishonest. Wanting money is wrong and it's not spiritual. Having plenty of money means hard work. When you're a child, you accept just about everything your parents, teachers, or society tell you. And so, without realizing it, you grow up having negative feelings about money. The irony is that at the same time that you're told that wanting money is wrong, you are told that you have to earn a living, even if it means doing work you don't love. Maybe you were even told that there are only certain jobs you can do to earn a living, that it's a limited list. None of these things are true. The people who told you these things are innocent because they were passing on what they believed and felt was true. But because they believed it, the law of attraction made it true in their lives. Now you are learning that life works in a completely different way. If you lack money in your life, it is because you are giving out more bad feelings than you're giving good feelings about money. You can see the law of attraction working when people win the lottery. They imagined and felt with all their heart that they would win the lottery. They spoke about when they win the lottery, not if they win the lottery and they planned and imagined what they would do when they won, and they won. But the statistics on lottery winners show the real evidence of money sticking or not. Within a few years of winning the lottery, the majority of people have lost the money and are in more debt than before they won the lottery. This happens because they use the law of attraction to win the lottery. But even when they receive money, they didn't change how they really felt about money, and they lost it all. The money didn't stick to them. When you don't feel good about money, you repel it. It will never stick to you. Even when you get some extra money you hadn't expected on receiving, in no time at all you will find that it has slipped through your fingers. Bigger bills come in, things break down, and unforeseen circumstances of every kind occur, all of which drains you of money and takes it right out of your hands. So, what is it that makes money stick? Love. Love is the attracting force that brings money, and love is also the power that makes money stick. It has nothing to do with whether you are a good person or not. That aspect of you is beyond any question whatsoever, because you are far more magnificent than you realize. You have to give love and feel good about money to bring it to you and make it stick. Right now, if you lack money and your credit card debt is increasing, you have no sticking pal and you are repelling money. The force of love can break through every single obstacle or situation. World problems are no obstacle for the force of love. The law of attraction operates with the same power whether the times are up or down. When you change the way you feel about money, the amount of money in your life will change. The better you feel about money, the more money you magnetize to yourself. If you don't have much money, then receiving bills won't make you feel good. But the moment you react negatively to a big bill, you give bad feelings and most surely, you will receive bigger bills. Whatever you give, you receive back. 
The most important thing is that when you pay your bills, you find a way, any way to make yourself feel good. Never pay your bills when you don't feel good because you will just bring bigger bills to you. To change what you're feeling, you need to use your imagination to turn your bills into something that makes you feel better. You can imagine they're not really bills at all, but instead you've decided to donate money to each company or person out of the goodness of your heart because of the wonderful service they provide. When you receive your paycheck, be grateful for it so it multiplies. Most people don't even feel good when they are paid because they're so worried about how to make their salary last. They miss an incredible opportunity to give love every time they're paid. When some money comes into your hands, no matter how little it is, be grateful. Remember, whatever you're grateful for multiplies. Gratitude is the great multiplier. Seize every moment that you are handling money to make the money multiply by feeling good. Feel love when you pay for anything. Feel love when you hand over money. This might be strange, but try it. Feel love with all your heart by imagining how much your money is helping the company and the staff who work for the company. It will make you feel good about the money you're giving instead of feeling bad because you have less money. The difference between the two is the difference between having plenty of money and struggling with money for the rest of your life. Here is a game you can play so you remember to feel good about money each time you handle it. Imagine a dollar bill. Imagine the front of the dollar bill as the positive side, which represents plenty of money. Imagine the back of the dollar bill as the negative side representing a lack of money. Each time you handle money, deliberately flip the bill so the front is facing you. Put bills in your wallet with the front facing you. When you hand over money, make sure the front is facing upward. By doing this, you are using money as your cue to remember to feel good about plenty of money. If you are using a credit card, then flip the credit card to the front where your name is. Because the front of your credit card is telling you that there is an abundance of money and it has your name on it. Imagine that you are wealthy right now. Imagine that you have all the money you need right now. How would you live your life differently? Think about all the things you would do. How would you feel? You would feel different and because you would feel different. You would walk differently. You would talk differently. You would hold your body in a different way. And you would move differently. You would react differently to everything. Your reaction to bills would be different. Your reaction to people, circumstances, events, and everything in life would be different because you would feel different. You would be relaxed. You would have peace of mind. You would feel happy. You would be easygoing about everything. You would enjoy every day without giving any thought to tomorrow. That's the feeling you want to capture. That is the feeling of love for money. And that feeling is magnetically sticky. If you think this video can help someone, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe to our new channel,